I don't need like an eight, nine, 10 foot plant or do I? Let me know, let me know. Y'all, so I cut Essie. the other day just a couple days ago I had on my recent video of hers like I don't know if I should go ahead and extend her or chop her I was going to extend her but now that she was like in her new pretty place I had I have her on um, a plant um, a tiny a short plant stand by the fish tank and by my neon sign and she just looks so good there and honestly I was too lazy to bring her down restake her chop her up blah mm -mm. Mm -mm. and so when I get in my cutting mood as I say a lot of my videos I was just like I'm just gonna cut you up and honestly I'm glad I did because if I don't drop her look look at her I can't even oh Look. yeah and of course I had to put her in this beautiful vase so my monstera golden who I don't talk about a lot because she's downstairs but I'll show her my monstera golden was propagating in this um, well a long time ago before I put her in soil and so yeah I was like this okay so so this cutting is named Queen Essie this is a beautiful cutting. And so I'm very, very, estoy muy, muy emocionada for her to root. Okay, she's really heavy. Very excited for her to root. And I'm going to put her in pawn whenever she does. And I'm excited about that. So she'll be my first Escaletto in pawn. I do have a tiny Escaletto cutting that's in water. And my baby Essie she's in soil and I actually I'm gonna cut her too because she's starting to run again you know we don't like runners so we have Essie we have baby Essie we have a small baby Essie cutting and now we have Queen Essie <laughs> and yeah I just wanted to show her because she's so pretty and so big um, and so I'm glad I did chop her up so I'm going to just, um, so there's actually two stems on the moss pole on Essie. Whenever she gets to the top, I think I will actually extend it then. I just don't think I was ready for it. But then again, it's like, okay, like what is too high? Because even not on the plant stand, she, before I chopped her, she was six feet, a little over six feet technically. I don't need like an eight, nine, 10 foot plant or do I? Let me know let me know because I will start um <laughs> continuing to what you call them but also too it's been great well like I love prop propagating plants and it's been great to give to some um friends as well but um anyways let me know Okay, so I just have a lot of like just random things that I've been putting off that I'm going to finally do. And if you know what kind of philodendron this is, please let me know. I don't know, and I've been not knowing. It's an old plant and it was living in this and soil, but I went ahead and took all the soil off and I'm gonna put it in Lekin Pond. And um, I say this a lot, but I'm just converting a lot or just planting a lot of plants in Lekin Pond because it's just been successful for me <laughs> point blank and I haven't had any plant heaven deaths um, from Leka Pond. And this is a very sad Syngonian Albo that I got from Facebook Marketplace over a year ago. And yeah, that's how it looks. So <laughs> gonna do something with that. And also these water rooted cuttings, they are ready to be in something.
so I didn't have any more of my um, cute little DIY nursery pots so I'm going ahead going ahead and making just a couple of them and it only takes a few minutes or so each one so now they're ready and then I went to my media room aka my plant storage area <laughs> and I have so many just pots and nursery pots and all the things and just trying to figure out what I wanted to put my things in and look at these I can put so many cute plants in these y'all I'm, I'm very excited <laughs> and so I'm going to just fill up my little tube of some more pond because it's just easier to get it from them I get these plastic bins I said two. these plastic bins are from Dollar Tree and yeah that's what I have both my pond and luck in so it's um, just easier to carry around and easier to go ahead and pop my plants up okay yes this is very very sad i've been having it in here for over two years something's wrong so i've been putting it off but i'm like no longer so i'm going to go ahead and repot this because it's yeah it's past time <laughs> and this pot is by my wonderful friend raven find her on facebook birth more creative she does these um as custom orders and it's so beautiful it has a monstera leaf and has a beta fish she is extremely talented and so you can't really see but there are rotted roots in here so yeah i'm actually not surprised but thankfully upon further looking the roots that are still here are actually good and healthy and so the rotted roots they just all fell off and were against the planter and so i just went ahead and i kept most of the soil that's on it now and then i just went ahead and repotted it in a slightly smaller container what do we think so these aren't official I'm just like testing out designs but I've been saying plant heaven um, for a while so I was like this is perfect and shout out to Mel amazing Mel you know who you are and let me what do we think thumbs up yes So this one is my personal favorite. And there was some subscribers who said to do sweetie and plants. Like, why didn't I think of that? So I'm gonna do that. And if y'all have any other suggestions, let me know. But yeah, these are just tests, but I'm for sure going to keep this one and I'm very excited about it. So back to <laughs> the plant video. So 
I'm going to finish up the plants. However, look at my money tree. It looks so much better. I am I was a little bit sad. I really thought all the roots were rotted. I'm glad they weren't. It was just the ends of the roots, as you saw. So I think it's going to thrive in here. It's going to do much better. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to put it in the media room or put it back here by the banister area where it gets the barina light. So, cause there's no room in the plant jungle corner, unfortunately. Okay, so I've been propagating this for, I don't even remember. It's been months, months, probably the end of last year. This was a plant that used to be up by my sign on top of my Ikea cabinet and then the plant rotted and I was able to save it. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in dun dun dun, Lekka Pond. And she's going to be so cute in this pink vase too. I was gonna do my other one, but cause you know the syndapsis, it has like the slight shimmer of silver on it. So she's gonna be very beautiful in the pink shimmer vase that I got from Ross or Marshalls like years ago. I went to Albertsons and their little clearance section they had over there was a lot of these cute pots and this one I got for $2.25 and yeah you see that yeah it's going to be super cute so I decided I'm going to go ahead and put my Snow Queen Pothos in this one and I will mix it in with the Syndapsis cutting because why not it's going to be super cute and then my philodendron cutting, I don't remember the variety of this one, but I'm going to put it in the white planter um, in Pond Like a Mix too. <laughs> 